Hello everyone, welcome to Going Under. This is a portal that we were not supposed to enter. And of course, as every gamer is supposed to do, is to say no to that and enter the portal. So I'm going to show you guys how you can beat this. This is actually the most easiest of, of them all. Actually, maybe Jubilee might be easier, but this is... If you've played the other ones and know how to defeat the other ones, it is so easy. So let's get straight to it. Uh, I think it has how many floors? I think it was like 12 to 13 floors. It has one, as each floor is like a room. So it basically has 12 rooms. That is including the shops. I think yeah, I think that's including the shops and the skill thing you obtain. And uh, let me show. I am still using fern with uh, unapproachable. Just like that is the best way to do it. You could use. Uh, whoever you have unlocked, but I think those two combos are great because you need the health and that approachable gives you an extra hit or two. So let's get straight into the video. Anyways, if you're enjoying this episode or part, hit that like and subscribe button. Okay, let's get straight to it. Okay, when you're starting out, you just got you have a couple of weapons already at your disposal. Try to pick whichever thing, whichever is your, like I like the sphere way better than the other ones, I like the gun because it's kinda cool. So yeah, choose whatever, this this floor or portal thingy has every monsters in the game you've fought up to this point. It has every weapon, except actually there's actually one new one which I really like, but that's, that's what it's basically a combination of everything, so if you want to know how to beat each and every individual, I've made a video on all three of them, you can check it out if you have any trouble with any particular monster or enemy. So let's get straight to it. Actually, I think I would go for this one. I like the sword, much better than the handgun. So that, yeah, let's go in. Oh no, the fire is here. So this is a worse combination to begin with. I mostly start off with... At least them at the end, but apparently it is way, way frantic. I think the best way to win this is just to go to different directions because they'll probably kill themselves before they kill you. That's what I think. They'll go into the fire and into the coal, as you can see. So yeah, if you're in a hazardous situation, just wait it out. They'll probably die. So, I still have not used my bento box. I recommend you save your bento box until the very, very end. Just because uh, that boss, you might need extra health. So, it's better to conserve them. If you get hit, of course, it's better to use them, consume them. But try as much as possible not to get hit. That is basically how you win the final boss. The final boss is actually pretty easy. I'm going to tell you exactly how to do it. And actually, let's skip towards the end because I don't think me mentioning them or if there's any unique I'll probably put it in the video but I recommend you just check out my previous videos and let's get straight to the boss fight okay guys we made it to the last this is B40 so there's only 14 floors and you got stuck so we are here against Mar the traitor or so they say so any weapon you have at this point is used almost useless because it breaks instantly so I recommend the best way to beat him, the best best way is to keep your distance and when you keep your distance he does this move, when he does this move attack with everything you have and then keep away, he probably won't hit you, try to dodge and when he does that move just hit him because he's vulnerable at that point in time. I recommend you grab this sword katana you have and if he, he does a move where he throws item at you, if you keep further away from him you could easily, well, you can easily avoid it. So try to keep your distance and wait until he does that explosion thing he, he so likes to do. When he does that move though, go hard. Try to hit him. This is what I meant. If you're far away, so easy to dodge. Now, now, go hit him. The reason you are using the unapproachable is you kind of get an extra 2 or 4 hits in. Which makes it a lot more faster than it would be if you didn't have it. So that's why I recommend the unapproachable one. If you manage to get a friend here, it should be great. But it's not a requirement. As you can see, I started the match like 
I had like two health, I almost had a full bar, and two shields. Also, I would like to mention I still have my bento box, so I could even use a bento box if need be, but I don't think that's necessary because look at my health. I have all these health, look at Marv's health, it is barely, it's barely dead, he's barely dead. I've been using the same trick, keep away from him when he does that move. Since he teleports next to you, you can just hit him, you can just hit him, which is great, that's easy, so easy. This is by far the easiest boss if you know how to do it. The other ones kind of require a little bit of luck. This one does not. And uh, that's it. I killed him. Dead. Finito. Anyways, I hope this was useful. If it was, please remember to like and subscribe. And until next time.